Next, we're going to set up our SMTP integration. An SMTP integration is what's going to allow us to send emails from our ClickFunnels account, whether that's from a funnel itself, from our product settings, or even from a follow-up funnel. We need to have an SMTP integration connected. So to be able to do this, we need a few things first. We need to know where we're managing our DNS records. We need uh, a customized email address and we need to sign up for a SMTP service. So the best one that integrates the best with ClickFunnels is going to be the easiest experience for you is something called SendGrid. So I put a link in the membership area below this video. It'll take you right to SendGrid.com. What you're going to want to do is here on SendGrid just click here, try for free. In here, you're just going to create your username and password. And then we can even use the custom email we created in my previous lesson. Then I'm just going to say I'm not a robot and accept the terms and conditions. Alright, so with that filled in, now we have to tell them a little bit about us. So we're going to go ahead and enter our first and last name, our company name, our company website, and our phone number. Then your role, how many emails you think you'll be sending per month, at least in the next little bit. If you're just getting started, it's going to be right here, 0 to 100,000. Then how many employees at, uh, that work at your company? And then get started. Then it'll ask you to confirm your email address at the top here. So what you need to do actually is go into your inbox, find your email from SendGrid, and then click on confirm email address. Now that our email is verified, we can connect our SendGrid account to our ClickFunnels account. So we're gonna go into our ClickFunnels account, go to account settings, then we're gonna go to email integrations. We're gonna select add email integration, and then we're gonna select transactional and marketing. And we're going to start filling this in. So I'm going to erase some stuff that's auto-filled for me. And I'm going to come up here, give this integration a name. So I'm going to call this one my chat send grid SMTP. I'm going to put the from name for many emails that get sent from this SMTP. And then in from email, we're going to use the same email that we created in the previous lesson on customized emails. So mine was Gregory at selfdefenselife.com. Then we need the SMTP server, the SMTP port, the SMTP username, and SMTP password. So to get most of this information, like the server, the port, and this domain down here, we need a help doc from ClickFunnels. So I'm going to go to help.clickfunnels.com and I'm going to search SendGrid. There's two docs in here that we're going to end up using. The first one we want to use is this one right here that says integrate SendGrid SMTP with ClickFunnels. This will teach us how to create the connection. So if we scroll down, it has all this information we need. So the SMTP server is right here. It's smtp.sengrid.net. 
than the port. 587. Username and password are what we created in our SendGrid account. And then the domain we get from the doc. So it's just sendgrid.net. Then we have just a regular domain setting here. This is what we're going to use as our sending domain. So it's going to make all the URLs, all the links from our emails actually function properly. It's really important here that you use a domain that's connected to your account. Okay, so we're going to use selfdefenselife.com. Then we're going to put in our address here. Then an SMTP footer, we need to set up an unsubscribe link. And to set up an unsubscribe link, we need to get a piece of code from ClickFunnels. So in that help doc, it's right in here. We can just copy it right out of here. Oh, there we go. And paste it right into our footer here. So we just want to update this with our own information. This is the most important part of the code right here. This is what's going to create our unsubscribed link. So make sure you have that in there. Then you can choose whether you want this to be your default SMTP or not. Then just click here on Save SMTP Integration. And then it's here. So we're going to click back on our new SMTP integration. You'll see that you can always edit your settings in here. We want this here where it says use webhook to track spam complaints and bounces inside of ClickFunnels. We're going to copy this. You'll see it's the next step in our help doc here is to add your webhook to SendGrid. To do that, inside of SendGrid, we're going to go to Settings, Mail Settings, Event Notification. We're going to turn that on. I'm going to paste our URL right into here. Oh, I have to click edit here. Mine's already in here. Imagine that wasn't in there though. Control V to paste that in. And then down here, we're going to select dropped, bounced, unsubscribed from, and mark a spam. And it'll tell you those right in this doc as well. Oh. Then we're going to save those changes. And you can even test the integration by clicking right there. There we go. Now, with that set, we also want to set up some weight labeling for our domain inside of SendGrid. So instead of our emails coming from like the SendGrid sort of a URL in the sending server, we want it to come from our domain. Just going to increase deliverability for us. So to do that, we are going to go to sending authentication. Under domain authentication, we're going to click here on get started. Here where it says DNS host, hit this drop down. Even though it says Cloudflare is an option here, scroll all the way down and click on other hosts not listed. Then click on next. And we're going to put our domain in here. So I'm going to put selfdefenselife.com. Hit next. And then these are three CNIM records we need to add to our DNS manager. So again, I'm using Cloudflare, so I'm going to enter mine in here. If you purchased your domain through ClickFunnels, you're going to go into your account settings, go to your domains tab, 
Find the domain that you purchased, click on it. Then go to Edit Zone Records, click Expand. You can add those CNAME records right into here, one at a time. I'm doing mine in here. So, oh, there we go. The first CNAME record here, we're just going to copy where it says Host. We're going to click Copy on the first one. Go back to my DNS manager. Add a CNAME record. Right here where it says Name, that's where we're going to paste in our value that we copied. Come back, copy this value, and paste that into target. And if you're doing this in Cloudflare, there's a little orange cloud that says proxy, switch that to DNS only, then click save. And then we're just going to do the next few as well. So this one, copy, paste, copy, paste. Great cloud. Save. So there's our second one. Last one here, copy. Paste. Copy. Paste. Gray cloud, save. There we go. Once all three records are added into here, inside of SendGrid, we have to check this box and click verify. Sometimes it'll take a couple tries to get this to all verify. It can take up to 10 minutes or so for this to all go through. Mine worked right away though. Now that is all set. You can return to sender authentication and it'll say verified inside of here. Now what we can do is test this integration from our ClickFunnels account. To test it very easily, what we can do is go back into our SMTP settings and click verify email settings right here in the top right hand corner. That's going to send a verification email to your email associated with your ClickFunnels account. So let me pull it up. This is what it's going to look like. And it'll show you the from email address that it got sent from. If you hit this little drop down, if you received it in Gmail, you'll see it tells you who it was sent by. This is our white label right here. If we hadn't have set up that white label, it would have said sent by like smtp.sendgrid.net, which a lot of other people are probably using that same mailed by address. So this just gives us a lot more control over whether our deliverability will work or not, because only we are responsible for that. So it's a really, really good thing. Definitely want a white label. While we're here, what we can also test is to see like, hey, if I were to send someone, like if some, sorry, if someone were to receive an email from me through the SMTP, what happens if they reply? So we can just send a little reply. Send. And then that response should go into our inbox in just a moment. And there it is. So you can see our SMTP will send the email from the customized email that we created in the previous uh, lesson. And if someone ever responded to it, we get that response right here in our inbox. And that's pretty much it. You can now send emails from your ClickFunnels account using your brand new SMTP integration.